personally, um, I, I think hierarchy exists. And I think the notion that somehow hierarchy in this collaboration, to, to me that's part of the myth of collaboration, that within a collaboration, uh, there will, at some point, even if it shifts, there will be a dominant partner. And actually, the dominant partner should be the client. The dominant yeah. partner should be the customer. And it's, it's, it's what does it take to deliver to the customer. Now, if that means that there is um, somebody in the middle holding the ring and saying, in the complexity of the product that we're developing, we, we have no time, you know, for the sort of uh, autonomous deliberation. It's autonomy, but it's, it's um, who do you call him, Mortensen, um, who, who wrote the book about collaboration, but he's talking about collaboration within a company. He, do, he talks about um, disciplined collaboration in the, the notion that you can have an autonomous uh, sub system you know, functioning autonomously is a nonsense because it's, 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 it's knowing the part that has to be delivered but in collaboration with everyone else and he talked about he, he calls it discipl disciplined um, collaboration now for myself you know, having looked back through uh, say look at the socio-technical systems yeah. movement um, and there's all sorts of views about why that didn't succeed. And one of the things that socio-technical systems uh, organizations were criticized for is that this, this strong focus on autonomy. And, and then what you had were these silos that, that, that developed. So personally, um, I think that hierarchy and, and networks coexist. 